G'day everybody, it's Garrison from Supertech Electronics and today we're going to remove a Hyundai Elantra sound system. Now the tools you will need today are a plastic spudger and a Phillips head screwdriver. Alrighty, let's get started. We're going to start over in this neck of the woods first. Okay, so we're going to remove this plastic shield here first. Get your plastic spudger in and just wedge it out and fold it back and get it out of the way. Now that will expose one screw there, uh, don't worry about these other screws, just that one screw there and we're going to peel this little strip back. Like so, and that will unclip. Okay, so we're going to go to the other side and, and remove the same strip that goes right up the length of the dashboard. Okay, so same again, we're going to get, going to get our plastic spudger in there and remove this section here. Peel it back, so fold it back, and that will expose one screw there, which you'll need to remove. Now from here we're going to peel this back one little piece at a time. So we're going to get our plastic spudger in there and just get it started. Like so. And don't put any pressure on any one part of it, you don't want to break it, it is just plastic. Just peel it back a little bit at a time and we can put that whole piece aside. Now the next part to come off is this part here. Now it is held in with clips so we're going to get the spudger into the back here and start peeling it back that way and, and we're going to pull it all out. We're just going to leave it loose, we're just going to leave it there, that's all we need for the time being. That exposes one screw there and one screw over here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and remove those screws. Okay, from here, this plastic surround, including the air vents, will come away. Might pay to use your plastic spudger here as well. Okay, and we can put that whole section aside for the time being. And this is going to expose four screws one, two, three, four, and all four of those screws will need to come out. Now once we've got those four screws out, this whole radio will come out, like so, and just support it with your hands, and it will be plugged in with some electrical connections. You'll need to remove those, push the centre pin in and pull it back, like so, and the aerial, and one final one. Okay, that radio is now ready to send off to Supertech Electronics for repair.